<laughs> okay, so what many of you are saying, which is true, is that we are sloping and it looks kind of weird. We got the curve cuts. What's the deal here? Now, hopefully you've been able to get this. Some of you were having a little trouble making the variable function work, but what we learned is that you had to use that split line command every time when you were drawing. So think about this for a minute. Everything's sloping down. Why does it make sense that all these points slope? Remember, why would this point be down at this point as well? Would we actually have a curb cut if that's what, what was happening? Let's change this back to zero space zero, and let's change this back to zero space zero. And now we have the curve cut that's just sloping from the points we established. See, sometimes people, you got to think your way through little tiny things like this as to why it doesn't work, right? We know that when we looked up that whole idea of, right, um, when we said, uh, let's look at Google Chrome, let's look at the curve cut again really quick, all right? When we look at those things and we look at an instance like here, this is similar to what we have, you see how that point at that edge slopes to that low point and this point here slopes to that low point. In addition to that, there's even a point where this little finger is pointing now, that point is a little higher than that point there and then that point is a little lower than that point here. We don't have to get that nitpicky in Revit, but as you can see, we would want these points, when we modify those sub-elements, we want these points to be higher than that point, if that makes sense, okay? That's one of the, the best ways to explain that. So I'm gonna go ahead, this will be a shorter video, I'll stop this, I'll let you get in, I'll let you fix that, and then we'll continue.